Thank you for stopping on my channel, Styles Pro Grow, where we grow our confidence and skill set in the process of maintaining healthy hair, be it through proper extension installation, proper wig maintenance, proper scalp care, however you can utilize the tips and tricks that I show you on my channel, please do so because it's nothing but proper hair. Now I want to show you this red brush and it's similar to that um brush, but the bristles are way more stiff and it allows you to truly detangle the hair. Sometimes when the brushes are a little bit too flexible when you comb through the hair it doesn't give it a true detangle but this brush plays no games i should be able to you to leave the link in the description of this video follow it purchase it i'm telling i'm telling you it'll be the last brush you purchase for detangling your hair extensions or anything that needs to be detangling and remember always start at the bottom of the extensions and work your way upwards so here you see me um basically drenching the unit and you see i'm not really scrubbing and if you see any smoke coming it is not i repeat it is not because <laughs> the water is super hot i have my steamer going as well just to give it a extra conditioning because you know that steamer accelerates processing whether it's shampoo color conditioner whatever and here i'm just wetting it down and i'm going to add my first shampoo to the unit so that we can start the cleaning process and that's so important to saturate 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 that's what makes sure you're giving your client a clean unit back you're removing the smells that usually come from perspiration from the client wearing the unit daily uh, it also allows you to take good care of the curl pattern and see how it is like when you saturate a curl pattern it should revert back to the original pattern and that's what it's doing that's why i love the burmese curl pattern over any curl pattern hair that i carry i so love the burmese curl pattern because it is a double drawn pattern when i say double drawn that means when the hair is collected each strand is like twice the size you know, which makes it for a double drawn. There you see me using a little Mazzani Butter Blend Neutralizing Shampoo because listen to me, when I tell you that this Mazzani Butter Blend Neutralizing Shampoo detangles, softens the hair and give it a great cleanse. Sometimes it's the only shampoo that I use on it and it gives for a great clean foundation to accept the conditioner even better. I'm trying to tell you that Mazzani Butter Blend Shampoo Neutralizer, the neutralizing shampoo, which acts as a deep cleanser. And because it acts as a deep cleanser, because it is a deep cleanser, it also has a good moisturizing in there. And you saw me just you show you an example of how not to shampoo your hair, your extensions or wigs. Do not scrub it up, dub. Just run your fingers through it. Feel the hair. See if it needs to be detangled more. Which now, if you use that red brush like I showed you in the beginning of the video, you don't have to worry about no tangles too much. And you're not scrubbing the hair. Oh, and as you can see, I'm shampooing this curly wig upside down. That's why you see the closure at the bottom and the back of the wig is at the top because it allows it to detangle. And when I turn it right side up, once I dry and all that good stuff, it helps with the detangling process. I'm trying to tell you to keep the unit detangled. That's why I enjoy shampoo. I prefer to shampoo the hair, the unit, the curly units, because I only do it for curly. Well, I really do it. I really shampoo all my units upside down so that, you know, it can loosen the try. I'm not loosen, like loosen and take it off of the, the um, 
take it off of the foundation base, but I mean, keeping the hair detangled is why I, I don't mind shampooing the hair upside down. But it's really no wrong or right way to uh, shampoo well when it comes to directions. But when it comes to pressure and manipulation, just go on ahead and run the water through like you see me doing. You have to be very delicate with these units, especially when it's handmade. And this is a handmade unit. You see me shampooing here. And this unit is at least about a year and some change old. And my client absolutely love it. She always, she gets about two of them a year because she wears them daily. And sometimes she gets to scratching her scalp which makes, well, scratching where the closure part is, which makes the closure kind of shed away a little bit. And you really don't want that. So sometimes you have to either remake the whole unit over or just change out the closure. Now, this is so, so cool that I found this suave conditioner at my local, I think I was at, I had to be at Family Dollar. So I found it at my local family dollar. And when I tell you the slick in this conditioner, the mint, the it, it helps with refreshing the extensions. I mean, you already know what Rosemary do. It adds shine and manageability, but this is for the extensions. And I don't look, look, look how my hand is gliding through with this conditioner. I'm trying to tell you, I love this rosemary mint conditioner for my extensions, especially for my curly extensions, because it really, really seals down the cuticle of the artificial hair. And it brings back, it supports the restoration of the curl pattern, like tremendously. Look at that. That's beautiful. Saturated nicely. That is a beautiful, that's what I love, the Burmese curl pattern. Y'all need to come and get you one of these made. I'm trying to tell you. who we? I just don't know what to say. Uh, uh, in the description of the video, I would probably leave a link for the rosemary conditioner. I hope I can find it. I swear I hope I can find it. Because when I tell you this conditioner is super bomb when it comes to massaging it in your extensions. And I only say for the extensions because it's Suave, which is a consumer brand conditioner. And it's great for extensions because it's not really heavy. And that's what we don't, we don't want real head. Look, you, you can't even tell it's on there, but you see the curl is popping. Okay. Super popping. And I love it. And that's how we're going to do that and let that sit for a minute. But then we have to take it to the dryer. Now we're taking it to the dryer. Like the dryer, it is super important to get your extension super dry. Okay. That is a, um, it's not a terry cloth, but what is the other cloth? That is microfiber cloth. Okay. Now I can find the link to this conditioner, I, which is the spray in Garnier Frutis avocado conditioner and then we have a little bit of IC Fantasia moisture daily moisturizing cream listen to me this cream is very thick and it has a nice oil in it because it has a shea butter oil in it that's why I like to put it on the extensions wet because it saturates and it when it dries you do not get any frizz do you hear me and it's about the way that you treat the hair, you treat the extensions as well. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you're saturating the hair completely and you don't need a lot. Why? Because the hair is already soaking wet and it's easy to distribute product when the hair is soaking wet, especially product that you want on the hair, but you don't want it to weigh the hair down. It's great to add those type of products when the hair is soaking wet or when the extensions is soaking wet and you see me detangling with my favorite brush that red brush i'm trying to tell y'all you want to get that brush to help you detangle yeah whatever with that unbrush i definitely have the link for this brush it is in the description you definitely want to get this brush i'm trying to tell you it works it's sturdy i mean i don't know what to say 
I really, I really, really like it. I really do. And it works with all curl textures, natural or artificial, when you're trying to detangle in the safest possible way. You don't even see any hairs in the brush in this go round. Now, in the beginning when the hair was drier, it did shed a little bit, you know? But now with the hair is a little wet, it's gliding through more than not. And the curls are bouncing back tremendously. I'm not worried about the water dripping on the seat of the dryer because simply it's a dryer and the air is going to dry all of that when um, we turn the dryer on anyway. And the way that I encase the wig in the drying process, it kind of allows for everything that's around it, be it the seating, uh, the, the mannequin stand, the uh, canvas head, the, uh, the, the mesh cap that we use to create the wig. Cause you know that band at the bottom of that mesh cap, that has to be completely dry. That is usually where most of the smell of the wig is coming from. And as you see, we got her nice and detangled. We have the part in the wig, how we want it. And then we're going to come in with a little design essentials foam. And once we come in with the design essentials foam, it'll be able to, as I was saying, this design essential foam is so super. It smells good. That's one. You don't need much. That's two. Yay, though, it is a foam mousse for curl definition. It works wonders in smoothing. And when I use it to um, smooth out for the purpose of molding the closure, be it with a sew-in or like I'm molding the closure for this wig, it lays it down flat. You come in with a hot comb or a um curling iron rod and rub it around where you want that parting to look super flat it's going to give you all of that all of that so we have our detangle we have the parting super flat you see i'm super happy because sometimes when i'm doing these wigs it'd be taking a lot out of me but i love refreshing my curly wigs because they don't take that much so i'm going to come in with what i like to call my um portable kiln. I created this method to wrapping the dryer and you want something heavy. And this is a, sometimes I have very cold clients and this is just a little throw blanket that I bought from family dollar to help the clients to warm up. Um, or, you know, when they're there with their shampoo and steamer, I throw it over them. Or sometimes I use, even use a weighted blanket and throw it over them just to give them that just to give them that luxury experience. So this is how I close in the wig so it can dry within an hour and it's dry. And there it is, completely dry. You hear me? You see them curls? You see them curls? They popping. The color is popping. All I have to do is place it on her head and she is done. Chef's kiss. This is why I love the Burmese custom made units. Oh, and I colored it as well. You want to leave me a message if you want to get your one made, baby. All the details will be in the description. Thank you. Thank you again for stopping on my channel. Styles Pro Grow. Love you. Be blessed.